Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com. It is a snow day here in Northern Illinois, and today we're gonna to be breathing new life into this black and white toy video camera from the 90s. Hey everyone, Sean here. Like I said, it's a snow day and I'm working from home, so I thought we'd take a look at this guy. Uh, this is the Tyco Video Cam. Uh, it was made in 1996, and it is a toy video camera made specifically for children uh, to plug into their VCR in their living room and shoot little home videos. This is my Tyco video cam. I said my Tyco video cam. Not my mother's, not my father's, mine. Everyone wants to be in my next Tyco video cam video. My friends, my dog, even my parents. That's a real video cam. What makes this camera so unique is it's actually a black and white video camera. So it doesn't shoot color, it only shoots black and white footage. Now the reason I got this camera is I initially wanted to shoot with a Pixel Vision camera. Uh, it's the other toy black and white video camera out there, made in the 80s, uh, shoots video directly to an audio cassette tape super lo-fi black and white video, uh, very popular in the art scene. Unfortunately, these cameras are pretty pricey and you have to do a lot of modding to them. Uh, whereas the Tyco Video Cam only runs around 40 bucks used, you can get them on eBay, they're prevalent, and it also has a really great lo-fi look. It's a higher quality image to the Pixel Vision, there's definitely a lot more information, but it's still a toy and it gives you this really interesting look, somewhere between really low quality VHS footage and Super 8 black and white footage. Now the toy company Shoot the Moon, uh, which helped produce this camera back in the 90s, claims it's the first use of CMOS sensor image technology in a consumer product. Apparently CMOS had been around since the 60s, but this was the first camera that you could just buy off the shelf that used the CMOS sensor, which is pretty cool. Okay, super affordable camera that you can create really cool lo-fi images with, Great, but how do we make this camera mobile? Because I'm not gonna be shooting uh, in my family's living room plugged into a VCR. I wanna take this camera everywhere. And I've been working on this for a number of years. Initially, I used my trusty Canon HV20. Uh, this was an early affordable HD camera that captured two mini DV tapes. So I was initially kind of mounting this together and running uh, the cable into the HV20, and then I was capturing to mini DV tape. But unfortunately, I was having some issues with this camera. Uh, this is a camera that I used for a long time. The heads were kind of worn out. So the footage I was capturing had some corruption issues. Not ideal. So the second thing I tried was I got this little guy here. This is a digit now, and this is actually a little portable battery powered analog to digital converter. It's pretty cool, you can just turn it on, uh, and then I actually put some Velcro on the back of the camera, like that, and then I actually was running the analog cable from here right into here, and I was just capturing the footage directly to a micro SD card. Now, unfortunately, uh, this is a very budget level uh, digitizer, and it has a really, really crappy codec. So as you can see by this footage I captured with this setup, it's very, very pixelated, pretty much unusable. All that great lo-fi charm is lost in the super compression of this recorder. But I think I've finally found the best solution possible. I was talking to Bohush, a friend of the channel, he used to be our old host, and he turned me on to this. This is a little JVC camcorder that records directly to an internal hard drive or an SD card. And what's so amazing about this specific model of camera is it's one of the few that has an analog in and it actually allows you to digitize an analog signal. This camera has a really great high quality conversion for SD video. Uh, and on top of that, I can use uh, the monitor built into the camera to monitor the, the footage as I'm shooting. Let me show you the rig I created for this setup. Uh, this is a Photo Deox product. It is a Go Tough grip. It's designed for mounting a camera here and an accessory up here. And I'm actually gonna use it to mount two cameras. So we're gonna put the Tyco video cam up top here. Screw it in till it's tight. There we go, Tyco cam up there. And this is a super light camera, so it weighs almost nothing. It's mostly just plastic. And then we'll put the uh, JVC camcorder down here, lock it into place. There we go, now we have this very nice portable run and gun. I've got the handle here and I can just walk around and shoot with it. 
Now we just have to use the cables. And I'm actually using two cables here. I'm using uh, the original short version, run that into the back of the Tyco video cam. And then uh, I gotta get it into this camera somehow. So I'm actually going to use an adapter. So what I can do is I can do video and audio, video and audio. And now we're going back to a male plug and we can plug it directly into the camcorder. There we go. I don't know if you can see it right there. Uh, we have got a signal. Here's some footage I captured with this setup today out in the snow. And as you can see, it really has this great lo-fi quality to it. It's kind of this weird fusion of old black and white movies that you would see on TV, kind of combined with a more modern uh, VHS video aesthetic. And to be honest, I just love it. It looks great. And this is what the footage looks like on the Tyco video cam shooting me. Now one of the things you'll notice is how weird my skin looks. It has this strange, uh, overly white, glowy look to it. And that is because uh, the Tyco video cam shoots in the infrared range. So it's picking up infrared colors on my face that a normal camera wouldn't see. This creates kind of a ghostly feel but I actually kind of like it. Again, I think it plays into the weird lo-fi analog look, and I'm excited to see what I can create with it. So the big question, is this setup worth it? I would definitely say yes. If you're like me, if you love shooting weird, unique imagery, uh, especially lo-fi video, uh, shooting on Super 8 film, 16 millimeter film, weird plastic cameras, this setup is a dream come true. I'm really excited to use this on a new short film I'm working on, and I can't wait to see what I can capture with it. If you'd like to learn more about the GoTuff grip featured in today's video, click the link in the description below, and click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more experimental videos like this one. I'm Sean with PhotoDeox.com, and thanks for watching. Just plug it into the VCR, and then point and shoot. It's so easy, grown-ups could use it. If I let them. The Tyco video cam. Batteries not included. Your VCR required to record.